Tonight on 60 Minutes, we'll explore the ethics surrounding late pregnancy 3D ultrasound scans that lack referral. We'll hear from three separate stakeholders in the fetal imaging debate to present the truth surrounding 3D ultrasounds and the effects it has on mothers, the medical industry and the wider community. I'm James Dolan, good evening and welcome to the program. Dr. Hartwick is a sonographer that specialises in 3D fetal ultrasounds. In a very quickly adapting and changing industry, how do you see 3D fetal imaging form a piece of the medical innovation puzzle? With the event and evolution of three-dimensional ultrasound technology during the past 20 years, we have arrived at a threshold of non-invasive diagnosis. The simultaneous 3D display of organs and their vessels may perhaps in the future form the basis for a better understanding of the physiological and pathological features of developing fetuses. The possibilities of ultrasound in obstetrics and gynaecology have been endless, and we have only just skimmed the surface of this wonderful technology and hope for its further development in the future. How do you compare more dated 2D imaging to the current advanced 3D and 4D technology? 2D scans nowadays present a grayscale cross-sectional image aimed to investigate internal structures of a developing fetus. 3D scans give the ability to see a fetus's skin rather than internal organs. The image is created from sections of two-dimensional images laid and converted into a picture. Considering the evolutions in this technology, could you talk us through how 3D ultrasounds actually work? Ultrasound is a technique that uses high-frequency sound waves and their echoes. The ultrasound machine transmits high-frequency sound pulses into the body using a probe. The sound waves travel through the mother and hit boundaries between tissues. Some of the sound waves get reflected back to the probe, while some travel further on until they reach another boundary and get reflected. Reflected waves are picked up by the probe and relayed to a machine, which calculates the distance from the probe to the tissue or organ using the speed of sound in tissue and the time of each echo's return. The machine displays the distances and intensities of the echoes on the screen, forming a two-dimensional image. Several two-dimensional images are required by moving the probe across the body surface. Two-dimensional scans are then combined by specialised computer software to form 3D images. Based on your lifetime of experience and research in the field, How personally would you rate the safety of such a technology? Ultrasound imaging has been used for over 20 years and has an excellent safety record. It is based on non-ionising radiation, so it does not have the same risks as x-rays and other types of imaging systems that use ionising radiation. So on that basis, I feel that 3D and 4D imaging are much safer than we had in the past, but major improvements in this field are constantly evolving. Dr. Lane is a Senior General Practitioner on the Medical Board of Australia. Dr. Lane, what is your opinion on these 3D imaging videos that are quite the craze at the moment? There honestly just isn't enough evidence on the effects they could have on the foetuses. They don't provide any new or relevant information with the only benefit being they may be able to illustrate concerns a doctor may have, say cleft palate or spina bifida, which in my opinion would be even more traumatising for the parents. What sort of risks are you talking about? Look, despite there being no evidence to suggest ultrasound use is dangerous to an unborn fetus or their mother, the potential risks are still unclear. As popularity of these memento scans and videos increases, regulation is lagging behind. The public have access to this medical imaging technology without a referral. Businesses are opening that provide these scans without review or reporting by an appropriately qualified sonographer. Ultrasound imaging is generally considered safe when used prudently by appropriately trained healthcare providers. However, this is not how the industry is operating. For 3D images, patients can be exposed to ultrasounds for over 45 minutes. Not only are repeat or long sessions disruptive to babies trying to grow, but the long-term effects of extended exposure to ultrasound is largely unknown. Ultrasound energy has the potential to produce biological effects on the body. Ultrasound waves can heat these tissues slightly. In some cases, it can also produce small pockets of gas in body fluids or tissues called cap cavitation. Because of the particular concern for effects on the fetus, organizations such as the American Institute of Ultrasound and Medicine have advocated prudent use of ultrasound imaging in pregnancy. Furthermore, the use of ultrasound solely for non-medical purposes such as obtaining fetal keepsake videos has been discouraged. Why is there still so much unknown about the effects? 
Ethically, we are unable to test the safety of this procedure as it would be unethical to assign some patients to undergo 3D ultrasound when there is a potential for the fetus to be damaged. Unfortunately, this leaves us with little information to go with. In a study conducted in 2001, a small hydrophone was inserted into a woman's uterus while she underwent an examination. The recorded sound reached 100 decibels, similar to a train coming into a station. In addition to sound, the fetus was exposed to vibration and heat during the ultrasound. The exposure to the fetus depends on the equipment, length of procedure and number of procedures. Long and short term effects of accelerated sound waves on a, on a developing fetus are unknown. Jane Goodsell is the head of Mothers First, a community organisation that helps the antenatal and postnatal experience for parents. As an advocate for 3D fetal ultrasound, what do you see as the wider benefits of the 3D ultrasound technology and how it helps mothers in their pregnancy? Well, 3D imaging offers so many positive benefits for first-time mums and dads out there. Whether it's your first or your fourth child, nothing's as precious as seeing your baby's face for that first time. And finally, we don't have to wait the whole nine months. As a proud advocate for 3 and 4D imaging and a mother of three, I would have been lost without my images. It has enabled me to like, visualise my baby and bond with them before they even left the womb. One of the many benefits of 3D imaging is the essential diagnosis and imaging of cleft lip, abdominal hernias and spina bifida. This enables regular people to put an image to these confusing medical jargon terms which our unborn babies can be diagnosed with. Without these images, the common people who do not understand these complicated medical terminology would not be able to understand and comprehend these diagnoses. Do you see 3D fetal imaging as a way for parents to connect with their unborn children? It really gives me an important bonding time, especially for dads who lets their parents see their beautiful baby's face, swallowing, breathing and even different facial expressions. There's even this amazing service, which is completely mobile. They come into your house and they can even be during your baby shower and allow your entire family to view your unborn baby. Have you done any research into the safety of this procedure? Can you see any downsides of this practice? Yes, I'm glad you asked. A series of research articles have been written in favour of having this procedure done, one in particular in 2011 published by the Medical Journal, which stated that a wide variety of neurological problems such as ADHD, schizophrenia, epilepsy or, and autism can be identified during this early fetal life based upon the opening of the eyes, a variety of facial expressions and primary reflexes such as rhythmical bursts and the sucking pattern. Advanced women's, women's Imaging, a superior medical imaging specialist, which also happens to be the clinic where I received my scans when I was pregnant, says they can help diagnose other issues such as congenital uterine abnormalities and even help with the investigation of recurrent miscarriages. So not only does this help with pregnant people, but also those who wish to become pregnant. It's a no-brainer, really. For such a small price, you can see your new unborn baby determine their health even without a doctor's referral, as many times as you want in your long nine-month pregnancy. What about the supposed positives associated with these images? I can understand the emotional draw to get these images. Yes, there is potential for images and videos to promote bonding between the parents and the baby, but there are other safer prenatal opportunities for this. Prenatal classes are a really good way for you and your partner to bond with your baby. At the end of the day, to me, it's always about safety. The FDA strongly discourages the use of 3D ultrasounds to create keepsakes, which should give some indication of how serious this is. Additionally, getting a scan too early may be quite shocking and scary for the mother and cause her distress, which isn't healthy in pregnancy. Private ultrasounds are known to be as long as 45 minutes to an hour, which is longer than industry-recommended safety limits. Although certain advantages and benefits are evident, the overall impact is not fully understood. Ultimately, a personal choice is one that will always prevail, with industry advice having little power over personal opinion. 3D imaging will continue to be manipulated and used as a commercial business as growing popularity becomes evident with private imaging services without referral. Medical professionals and the general public will continue to butt heads on this highly ethical issue. I'm James Dolan. Thank you and good night.